Hi everyone, I'm Justin Knight with the Reebok Boston Track Club and welcome to Roadrunner's Sports Workout of the Week. I'm basically going to run you guys through some drills and some core exercises that I basically do every week to make sure that my form and my core is strong enough for me to be a better runner. So without further ado, let me bring you guys through some of my core drills. All right, so the first exercise that I'm going to show you guys today is classic A's and B's. These are drills that, you know, for high school runners, former high school runners, we did this all day. And I know that it was annoying in high school, but believe it or not, I stopped doing them. And as a pro, I reintroduced them into my workout because it, what it does is kind of emphasize good form. So even in those tough races or tough run where you feel like you have nothing to give and your form's slowly deteriorating, these drills are supposed to help you stay strong and keep your form. I'm gonna show you guys how to do them properly and we're gonna walk through them first and then we'll go to real motion, all right? So A's and B's is kind of just bringing your knees to your chest in this type of form. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And we're gonna walk, 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 and come back. And the other most important thing to know when we're doing these, you wanna keep your toe that's up pointing to the roof or to the sky, whatever. And you gotta keep your back straight, upright, and try to be nice and tall when you're doing it. Chest straight, back straight, and don't forget, opposite arm, opposite leg, and it should be very fluid. All right, let's get it started. Now that we completed the A skips, we're gonna move on to something a little bit more complex. We're gonna go on to the B skips. Now, for those that are gonna try this, if it's your first time, don't worry if it doesn't feel smooth. When I first started doing these, it almost took me maybe three weeks to kind of get the hang of it. But at the end of the day, what do you know that doesn't get better with repetition? So keep on yourself and keep doing these drills. So the reason why it's called B's, I don't know, but I just know that it mimics the same thing as the A skips, except one added feature. So we're gonna do opposite, opposite arm, opposite leg, or opposite arm, opposite leg, and um, we're gonna keep our chest up, back straight, go like this, and then once you get to this motion, you're gonna kick out and bring your leg in really, really uh, fast. Opposite arm, opposite leg, chest, back straight, kick out. Mind you, these drills, they kind of work best when you do them outside, just the skipping drills. I'm doing this stuff in my house to show you guys that even under quarantine, I don't know what everybody's situation is, but you can still do this stuff in your house. And usually with these A's and B skips, I like to do mine in sets of five. Obviously I'm indoors, so usually I'd go a little bit further, but you guys can be the judge for yourself and do these exercises on your own. All right, so the next drill that I'm gonna do is more of a strengthening drill. And this drill is made to strengthen your hip mobility. So basically you wanna get a chair, or if you're outside, if you can find a rock or whatever that's around this big, just like slightly around where your knee is or slightly above. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot on the chair like this. And notice that, yes, it looks like the A's and B drill. Exact same position, your legs pretty up, knees right around where your chest is. And what I'm gonna do with this drill is, doesn't matter where you keep your arms, you can just keep them wherever is comfortable. For me, I guess I'm always ready to run, so I keep it like this. And you're gonna try your best to lift your foot up as high as you can for one, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi, four, Mississippi, five, Mississippi, and then put it down. Now what it does, sorry, I've gotta switch to this leg, but it works on this muscle in here, and it kind of helps your strengthen the muscle that kind of can uh, give you stronger hips and work on your hip mobility. For me, um, I'm a pretty strong runner in general, but you can always get better. But one thing I notice is that an area that I can work on <clears throat> is my hip mobility. Usually I take maybe around 45 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds to just kind of rest. Now I'll put my foot back up and we'll do it again. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, back down. 
This, I'm not gonna lie, it looks super simple, but for people like me who are not the most flexible in the world, it really hurts. So don't worry if it's uncomfortable, don't worry if it's painful, or don't push yourself too hard, I mean. If you have to do three seconds, that's fine. Uh, everybody's different so you can find your own comfort level, but I'm glad to say that I'm at five seconds right now. That's something that I do to work on my strength. I don't do it every day and that's something that you guys should note. Um, oftentimes when you're reintroducing or introducing a new stretch or a new exercise or a new drill, um, it's not good to go ahead and do them every single day. You gotta ease your body into it and make it a norm and then eventually you can kind of do it how often as you want. So let's move on to the next exercise. All right, thanks for joining me again, everyone. And yes, I have repositioned myself on the ground. You're not seeing things. I did that really quickly before you guys even noticed. And we're gonna do an exercise now that is a part of my 15 minute core routine. I think that this drill has actually helped me a lot through my times at Syracuse and as I am as a professional right now with the Reebok Boston Track Club. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna be on the ground, obviously. You're gonna try to keep your feet up and you can't really, I mean, some people can keep straight on this. I personally can't go really straight like this, but um, either way, you just don't wanna be lying on the ground. You wanna have your back in the air and you're gonna put your feet up and you're gonna to start to cross your legs. And you're just gonna keep doing that. Keep doing it. Usually I go for like about 30 seconds and then I do the rest of my core drills. But if we're just doing this one single-handed, we could just say do 30 seconds and then take a small break and then do another 30 seconds, take a small break and then do another 30 seconds. There you go. All done, we're all done with the supine scissors. Congratulations, you made it through the hardest part of my exercises slash core routine the last drill i have for you guys i'm being nice i'm being real simple we're gonna do some lunges these lunges will actually make you better don't overdo them do whatever com whatever is comfortable i'm not saying you got to do these every day but lunges are a good uh, exercise to incorporate in your routine if you're getting ready to run or do a big race so without further ado again um let's do some lunges the way that I do my lunges, the way I was explained to, I don't just like go straight into it. I want to raise my leg up straight as if I'm doing A's and then extend backwards. Oh, you can see it's hard for me to keep balance. And then go down and I come up. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come up as if I'm doing an A skip drill and then I'm going to stretch backwards. There you go. That looks really pretty. My trainer at Team Canada, she'd be really happy to see me do this. All right, let's switch legs. We're gonna do our left leg now. We're gonna go up, try not to wobble too much, then extend back and come down. As you can see, can't stress it enough, I'm not perfect. My left leg is a little bit weaker than my right, but this is why we're doing these drills. We're trying to strengthen up the areas that need to be strengthened so that we can be better runners, better athletes. You know, I would usually probably do those maybe 10 times each leg, take a break, depends if I do anything else afterwards, and then maybe I'll do another set. But usually one set's good enough for me. Um, lunches are something that you guys can do daily. It doesn't really take a huge toll to your body. All right, but, uh, thank you guys for joining me for the Roadrunner Sports Workout of the Week. I hope I wasn't too bad of an instructor. I hope that you guys like everything that I did. I hope that it helps you to be a better runner or a better athlete. And I also hope the last time, I'm gonna use that word, but I hope that you guys can do it better than me. But thank you guys, honestly, truly for joining me. Um, once again, I'm Justin Knight. If you want to, or if you like what you saw, or you're just interested in who is this Justin Knight character and who does he run for, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Justin, J-U-S-T-Y-N dot Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. And you can keep up with my story and where I'm headed in the future. Thank you guys for joining and I'll catch you guys later.